The Trigger Spoon Junior, big enough to draw strikes from trophy trout, small enough to round up a limit of pan-sized fryers, and the perfect spoon to put on the end of your line when the trolling gets tough. Pick up your kit at Trigger Spoon Juniors today at fishhuntshoot.com. Hey guys, Kel Kellogg here. Let's talk about Lake Comanche. Um, Lake Comanche trout fishing more specifically. Since it got warm, a lot of guys seem to have abandoned Lake Comanche and uh, West Ward and I, we feel like that's a mistake. We've been out there twice over the past 10 days or so. The first time we were out trolling from the FHS pontoon boat. The second time Wes was out there with his kids, they didn't fish, they were, they were tubing and just having a good time playing in the water. Um, when we were out there in the boat fishing, we saw some impressive marks on the sonar and we caught quite a few rainbows. When, when Wes was out there tubing, the marks were even more impressive and when we were fishing, we didn't see a lot of other trout boats and Wes reported that there were even fewer trout boats when, when he was out there tubing with the kids. So if you're looking for someplace close to home and you live in the Sacramento Valley, Sacramento, Stockton, whatever, Comanche is still a very viable place to go catch some trout. Um, the fish are down anywhere from 40 to 50 feet deep. Early in the morning, you could troll pretty fast. You could pull speed spoons, speedy shiners, Rapala, stuff like that. It can be pretty aggressive. Um, and once the sun gets higher in the sky, you need to slow down a little bit. We scored out there with uh, speed spoons, pinheads, trigger spoon juniors, trigger spoons, and trolling flies, white trolling flies, white and blue trolling flies, basically shad pattern stuff. The trout are feeding on shad, imitate the shad, catch the fish. You can go fast early, then slow it down, but stay with those same you know, color schemes. We didn't use Dodgers or anything like that. What I will say though, is we were using two rods off downriggers and one rod we were pulling with a dipsy diver, a, a chrome and blue dipsy diver on it. And that dipsy diver rod outperformed both downriggers put together. Somebody's calling me, that's all I got to say for now. If you wanna catch some trout, get on out to Lake Comanche. You'll see water skiers and it's gonna be hot, but uh, if you know how to control depth troll and you've got some shad pattern lures in your tackle box, you're gonna be yelling fish on. Let me grab this. I'm Kel Kellogg, I'm signing off and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. Sounds like they went away. Let's see who that was. That was Wes, I better call him back. I'll catch you guys later. And if you're looking for gear, remember fishhuntshoot.com. That's your source for top-notch trout gear at very fair prices. I'm Kel Kellogg. Have a great day, guys.